Trauma from healthy donors who've recovered from COVID-19 could be a way to treat people who are currently fighting the virus in the hospital. This is happening right now at one Boston hospital and reporter Alexander Leslie has the encouraging news from doctors there. The story is new this morning. Well, doctors gave examples of one critically ill patient that did, that did this in hours after a transfusion. They say this COVID-19 patient improved dramatically, so much so that they didn't need a ventilator to breathe anymore. This happened at UMass Memorial Medical Center earlier this week. Doctors there say now their goal is to collect as much plasma as possible from people who recently recovered from COVID-19. Now, the blood of those who have recovered contained antibodies to help fight off the virus. Doctors add while the risk is low for both plasma donors and patients, donors have to no longer be contagious and they'll be screened to make sure that they're eligible. We basically are, are scrambling to find more and more donors that need to be at least two weeks out from the infection, preferably four weeks out. Now, this is also happening at Westerly Hospital, and a study is also underway at Brigham and Women's Hospital to learn more. So COVID-19 plasma has not yet been approved by the FDA, but it has issued guidance to providers on how to use it as what it calls an emergency investigational new drug. Live in Pawtucket, Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.